Contestant number one, Guan Yu Yang, Fortune Cookie. Fortune Cookie, Guan Yu Yang. My mama always said, life is like a box of fortune cookies. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Toastmasters, Elvis Presley, <laughs> contest chair. Have you ever received a fortune cookie that is full of bad advice? Yeah, my life feels like a box of fortune cookies, full of bad advice. You see, I was a little Chinese boy growing up in Australia, and knowing what advice to take was like mixing soy sauce and tomato sauce. <laughs> they don't match. You see, I was this little boy, and when I should have been outside playing, Tiger Mum had me locked up studying. And as a college student, when I should have been home studying, I was outside playing. <laughs> All my life, it was hard for me to know what piece of advice I should take. And then one day, I took my best friend Andy's advice. He said to me, Kwong, quit your job in Australia and let's move to China. You see, in China, that's where it's all happening. That's where the money's at. I got friends, I got family, I got connections. We can start our own business. We can run a factory. We can even sell fake American goods. <laughs> and we'll sell them to Americans. To me, that sounded great. And the next thing I knew, I was off on a plane to China. And as you can see, China on this stage is really far away. <laughs> but when I finally got here, I went straight into the countryside, straight into a factory, and straight into digging coal. You see, my best friend Andy said to me, all the greatest CEOs of our time started from the bottom. Digging coal and shoveling it into a furnace at $5 a day, definitely the bottom. I did this for four months. It took me four months before my brain switched on and said, what on earth was Andy thinking? Was he crazy? Two college students digging coal and shoveling it into a furnace. So I wanted to get out. But the problem was, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. Should I go back to Australia? Should I stay in China? Should I invent a machine that could actually dig coal? <laughs> so what I did next was I went around and I asked all the people I knew because the fact was I couldn't trust myself. And I asked my family, friends, relatives. I asked my uncle and he said, Kwong, go back to Australia. I asked my entrepreneur friend and he said, Kwong, start your own business. And I asked my girlfriend, and she said, Kwong, go away. <laughs> Again, I was getting all these pieces of conflicting advice, and I didn't know what to do. And then a friend of mine said, Kwong, why don't you go see a fortune teller? <laughs> fortune teller, fortune cookies, fortune 500, nothing to lose. So there I went, went off to the markets, down the alley, around the street, in front of an old man who claimed to be a fortune teller. I told him my problem, and he said, well, he took my hands first, and he said, you see this line? That's your career line. Very short. <laughs> and you see this line? That's your brain line. Short, also. <laughs> and you see all these lines that crisscross your hands? 
Yeah, that's where I am right now. Each line represents a different opportunity and it's crisscrossing, going in different directions and that's why I don't know where I want to go. Moisturize more. <laughs> Since when was fortune telling skincare advice? And that's when it dawned on me that the answer was in my hands. You see, nobody could moisturize my hand but me. Yeah, hopefully. And, and nobody could keep my hands dry and rough like me. See, when I went around asking people and asking people what did I want in life, it was like pulling their hands across and saying, what am I going to do in life? What job do I want? What am I passionate about? How would they know? The answer was with me. The problem was, I just didn't trust myself. And isn't it easier to go blame others than to blame That's when I took my life back into my own hands. I quit that job in the factory. I didn't go back to Australia and I didn't go start a business. I looked at what I really wanted in life. And I just wanted a flexible job that would give me the time and the energy to do the things I love, like public speak, entertain, and to do sports. That was the key. And I didn't tell you that day when I left the fortune teller. He gave me a tube of moisturizing cream and a fortune cookie. And when I broke open the fortune cookie, the message was blank. Best piece of advice I ever got. <laughs> the answer for me, and the answer for you, is not in a fortune cookie or with some fortune teller. It's not within his hands, her hands, or anybody else's hands. Trust yourself. The answer is in your hands.